Isn't that a spectacular view? Well, you can pretty well ascertain we are not in Puerto Princesa anymore, and we are not. Uh, we are five to six hours north of Puerto Princesa. Yeah. We are in El Nido. El Nido, if you are doing anything to the north, on the north of Palawan, this is gonna be your connection point, sort of like the hub, where you're gonna go here, try to catch another transportation, and go to different parts of the northern uh, part of the island of Palawan, which is what we have done. So, I'm gonna tell you, uh, we're going to tell you what we did this morning to get to this point here. We'll talk about pricing. We'll talk about different ways that you can get here. We're here in El Nido. And what I want to do this right now is I want to talk about how we ended up in El Nido and what some of your options are for transportation. So when we started our day this morning, we had to decide what kind of transportation that we wanted to choose to get us from Puerto Princesa to El Nido. Now there's basically three types of transportation that you can choose. You can choose a bus, you can ch choose a van, or and the van options are a shared van or yeah. a private, private van. van. So let's let's talk real quickly about the, the the van option. If you book a van from Puerto Princesa to El Nido, if you get a shared van, the price of a shared van is 650 pesos, around 650 pesos per person. If you book a private van for you to have the van just for you, the price is going to be somewhere around 6,500 pesos uh, for the trip. Now, uh, the, let's talk real quickly about the two options inside here. If you get a private okay. van, of course, if you get a private van, you have it all to yourself. You can stretch out, you can do whatever yeah. you want to inside the van, but. but it's pretty expensive. Now, if you get a shared van, they're gonna cram like 11 or 12 of you inside a shared van at 600, around 650 pesos a person. And the leg room is and, so tight. And the leg room is really, yeah, when they put you inside a van, you got every, sometimes they put people, four people on a, um, on a bench sheet inside, and it's really tight, really uncomfortable for a five to six hour trip. So what did you choose? So the next option you have, like I said earlier, is bus, choosing a bus. So what we did, we did some research, and we found out that the bus for us is probably the best option mainly for convenience, uh, but it actually for us today, it actually worked out for us for speed as well. So the price of the, the bus trip up here is 500 pesos so uh, so per person. So it's a, it was a thousand for both of us. And so we just had to get from uh, our hotel over to the bus terminal. So if you are in Puerto Princesa, you just ask the fine folks at the front desk, ask them to arrange for transportation. So what we did, we took a taxi, the price of the taxi was 300, three, 300 pesos to get us yeah. from our hotel to the bus terminal. Uh, you can take a tricycle, but it's it's a little rough and bumpy inside you. And if you have a lot of luggage, it's probably not the best option. Uh, so we did that. The, the bus terminal that we chose based on all the Cherry. recommendations that we saw on uh, the web was Cherry, Cherry Bus Terminal. There's four bus terminals inside Puerto Princesa. So that's what we did. We took it, we did our trip up here. Our trip up here was it was a breeze. Uh, it was very comfortable. Lots and lots of leg room, leg room yeah, on, on the charity there bus. Is movie. They have movies. They have a bathroom inside, the bathroom and they too. make one lunch stop right about the middle point of the, the five-hour trip. Is clean. Yeah, the bathroom is clean too. So we made it up here in about five hours. Now we are now in uh, El Nido. Now we have to book some kind of transportation to get us from here. To where our accommodations are. So if you see over our shoulder, right here it's behind El, us, uh, Discovery Disco El Nido. Discover El Nido Travel. Uh, if you are staying at the place that we're staying at, or even if you're not, uh, you can book. They have a, a shuttle service that takes you from this location uh, to the location that we're going to, which <laughs> we're, we'll tell you about that when we get there. So the place that we're going to actually is sponsored, or they sponsored this company as well, or vice versa. I'm not really and sure which way it goes. And we get a discount. And we get a discount because it's normally 350 pesos per person so uh, 200. From, from here in El Nido to the place that we're going to. But because we're going through the uh, hotel uh, accommodation, it's 200. 200 pesos per person. 
Anyway, we're here. We're waiting on our transportation. Uh, it's going to take uh, maybe about an hour. Uh, we're going to relax around here, and then we're going to head to the next place, which is a secret place that is our vacation destination. <laughs> well, finally, we made it to the last leg, the last part of our vacation destination plans. We are at Nakpan Glamping. Uh, this is Nakpan Beach. I don't know if you can hear the ocean waves back behind all these little pods here. And what are these pods you're probably asking? What is glamping you're probably asking? Well, we- Glamorous camping. <laughs> she is right. This is called glamorous camping or glamping. And what we have here is we have like a tent on the beach. You can't get much closer to the beach without really being on the beach. And that's kind of what the whole uh, theme here is we are staying in something that looks like this no not something that looks like this actually this this is our this is our accommodations here and I want you to see what it looks like inside now, I got to tell you when I was a Boy Scout and I was a Boy Scout I lived in tents a lot when we went camping on camping trips and it didn't look anything like this yes we have big bed look at this Bed. Oh my God! And <laughs> we have refrigerator. Got a roof here. And we got fans fan. and, and neat lamp, and a, a lamps inside. And portable aircon. We got aircon inside here. But no TV. No TV because we're not going to sit around watching <laughs> TV. We got a lot of things planned. And look at the, the this. I don't know what the Queen King Half Moon. I don't know what you want to call this bed, but it's huge. It's plenty, plenty of romping space around uh, here. You can roll. Ro ro rock, rock and roll, roll rock and roll. Uh, and we're really close. Right around here is the showers. They have showers and restrooms here. So we are just off the beach here in Nocton Beach. They have lots of activities around here. Lots of restaurants, uh, little bars, things out in the water that I saw as we were coming up here. Uh, what's included in your package here? Uh, breakfast and dinner are included yes. in the package. Lunch is not. You have to go to one of the many places around here that you can get something to eat. Tomorrow is an island hopping uh, trip that we're going to do. They have multiple plans. They have plan A, plan B, plan C, and plan D, depending on what your uh, requirements are. Do you want to do more snorkeling? Do you just want to see more of the beautiful sights and sounds that are around here? Uh, so we kind of, we kind of, since Ness doesn't snorkel, she hardly ever gets in the water. <laughs> uh, but I think we'll be able to stop. Maybe we can do some snorkeling at some. I don't know what, the, but most of plan. A, which we chose based upon the recommendation of the people at the front desk, has a lot to do with the sights, some really beautiful yeah, sights. So hopefully it's a nice day tomorrow. We have and blue skies. For, for drones. Mm. Drone. And that's, that's the idea, the drone. We're hoping that we can get some good drone shots tomorrow. But anyway, it's almost dinner time here. We're going to get settled inside our tent, our little pod, our cuddly pod here. Uh, <laughs> go grab a bite to eat. We'll show you kind of what's on the menu once we get out there. And then get a good night's sleep tonight. And first thing in the morning, breakfast and then island hopping. Sound good yes. to you? Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> Now, this is actually a beautiful beach here, and I can't wait for the sunset. Now after such a wonderful sunset, it is time for us to have dinner here, as we said earlier. Now the restaurant that sits side by side of the glamping area is named Sunmai. 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 Sun <laughs> they really have, they have a great, uh, great menu here. We'll show you a few of the items on the menu. Uh, and you don't have to worry about the prices because it's included, it's included. in your dinner. 
There's a few items on there that are not. Uh, if you want some specialty items, uh, all the, you can have beer, it's included. Your drinks and beverages are included. Things like soda, water, beer. They have uh, appetizer and dessert too. Appetite, appetizer. Appetizer and dessert, that's right. Oh, we're, we're definitely gonna avail that. Uh, let me show you a few of the items on the menu. Hey, well, just a few of the items on the menu here. Uh, this is actually the first thing that I opened up to is a chicken sandwich, and I'm gonna get a chicken sandwich. I'm going really simple tonight. Uh, I have a simple appetite, and I want a simple meal. And that's what I'm getting right here. And it comes with fries, and they have appetizers and calamari and uh, they have nachos and I think the breakfast omelet, maybe, I don't know if they serve that all day long, if that's for breakfast in the morning. Spicy squid. Uh, let's see. Oh, and, and this is their fish selection. They have mackerel. They have uh, chili crab. They have some tonkatsu chicken. We're going to do a little Japanese here, it looks like. But I think you, what did you order, by the way? Mackerel. Oh, you got the mackerel. All right. And pork ribs. Uh, some Filipino treats inside here. And pizza. And the list goes on and on. We won't go through it because it's a pretty, it's a pretty intensive menu that they have here. Uh, If you enjoyed today's episode and you would like to see more just like these, just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects, how to, or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building, you'll find answers there as well.